So I'm Jocelyn. I'm married to Joseph, and we have a six-year-old son um, named Joshua who is neurodivergent. Our worst nightmare happens. We had lost a child in my third trimester, and it was the second time we lost it so late. You know, we just walked out empty-handed twice. We had a lot of questions for God. I just ended up deciding that, you know, God is not the good God that he says that he is and that I no longer want to participate in this type of organized religion. One of the things I remember telling her was that, you know, at any moment in time, you know, God can just move you from waiting for that blessing into walking in that blessing. Sing with me how great is our God. Started coming back to church around March and I was going to church, but I was still sitting there angry. I wasn't participating in worship. I wasn't receptive. This is an opportunity for you to show me that you hear me or you see me. Do what you say you're gonna do. I'm gonna give our first sermon on the subject and it's called The Principle of First. The Principle of First runs all throughout the Bible, all throughout the scripture. You will see this, that if God is first in your life, then everything else comes into order. And my understanding of the first fruits was to give um, substantially the very first part of your harvest to dedicate it to God sacrificially. And in, in many ways, that's a sow and then see how much he will kind of bless the harvest after that. And I felt um, compelled to participate. You know, God is leading her to kind of like give 50% of everything that she has in her savings. And the first thing I said was, oh, I don't know. But after I said that, you know, it was just a moment of silence where I just, something just told me that don't stop what God is doing. One of the reasons why we wanted to move also was that, you know, we can get Joshua, who's neurodivergent, into a better school district, you know. Amy Clark, who also goes to Ace of City, she was our realtor and our agent for it. And um, she had a house that she thought would be perfect for our, our family. So I showed them a house in Westerville that was our client's house. We had not yet listed it. They looked at it once, they looked at it a second time, fell in love with it. The market is so incredibly competitive. The odds of getting a house were so slim. I said, write a letter, share your story, share your heart. And let's just see what God does the wife of the home, she actually, her career was working with neurodivergent children. And she said that she actually wanted to sell her house to a family that had a neurodivergent child. At that moment when I found out uh, that the letter really touched her, I just, I realized that this was nobody but God. I gave my first fruits on a Monday. I put my offer in on a Wednesday, mon Wednesday morning. And by Wednesday evening, we got the call that they accepted the offer. We had no hand in this thing. And so when I when I drive up and I see this house, I just it's just a testament of God. We might not have all the answers to. Sometimes you might go to God to seek these answers and it might seem quiet, but God is still working. Just hold on to your faith. Never stop believing. <laughs>